So topic for today is about ReactJS programming. This is the continuation of the first part, how to write your own ReactJS. If you haven't yet installed your um, ReactJS, then you need to go to your what? Node.js installation. And just type it here in your uh, search bar. Okay, and then from there, we'll first you go to the Node.js and you click it out. Same time, if you have uh, Mac, you, you can choose uh, the, the different flavors right here. You have the Windows installer, you have Mac OS of, or the Linux installer. Now you have here, of course, the different specifications of that, but I'm using the 64 bit, and of course, my OS right now is Windows, so you have to click this one and follow the instructions. In the case that you have already installed your Node.js, that's the time that you will commence now your ReactJS programming. And this time, we will teach you how to start your ReactJS without any uh, trepidations or any what you call this um, difficulty or how to do that. Okay, let's go right here. And then uh, in your nav bar, you need to type the CMD or CLI. If you are using your Linux or if you are using your um, other operating system, then please check your uh, CLI commands. Okay. In the case that I have my, if you have already your uh, folder, if you don't have your folder, you can create your own folder by means of mkdir or mk, let's say react. In this case, you have already my react now, and then we'll go to react. So CD stands for change directory react. So I have the react folder right here. So I am now ready to. Uh, uh, install my uh, uh, to create my react app we assume that we have already the react app but before that we need we need first to check if we have already installed the node.js program in our react so we need to type this thing node and then d so the current version of my node.js is version 18.12.0 please check also your uh, cli now cli stands for command line interpreter now i will create my app how to create the app super simple i will type the npx at the same time, of course, you could type to create dash, oops, create dash, and then you have the dash right there, that is the parameter of that, and then you have here, of course, react up, and space, and the name of, of your, up. okay, and then you need to press the enter key, and then, after that will happen, let us check, we have here the app, so we'll type here, uh, my app. When you press the enter key, automatically, of course, the Node.js will respond to this statement, and at the same time, well, of course, there will be some JSON files and, of course, other updated files that will be installed. So it will take a while to install this thing. Depends also to the speed of your machine. So once I press the Enter key, of course, it seems that you have a problem. My app because, of, okay, name can no longer okay, capital letter. So there will be no capital letter. Okay, so we will use what? Small letter here. And then press the Enter key. Let us wait for this program to respond. So now, uh, this is now what you call this installing all the components and other programs for your ReactJS, and uh, of course, I would like to suggest that you uh, also check my previous tutorial for your ReactJS. The first part was, of course, how to start with your ReactJS and how to uh, install the Node.js so that you can run different types of libraries and frameworks of your JavaScript. So JavaScript is quite important today because for one thing, of course, you can create uh, different types of applications from desktop to a uh, web server uh, application. Now. This is the website that uh, you need to install your uh, Node.js and React.js. So you have here different types of, 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 uh, of specifications and your operating system. You have the Linux, the Mac OS, and Windows. While we are waiting for the installation, of course, we need also to understand that, well, um, if you want to go for a, down, a deep down code for React.js, then of course, you can use this thing to install that. But again, there is a CDN format for the React.js. CDN stands for a content delivery network okay so you can write program using the cdn or you can write a program by you know installing all the components of your node.js or react.js into your computer in your computer so there's now the program here and uh, as you can see we have of course this is now uh, uh, installed and successfully installed our computer remember we created our our, our 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 app what is the name of our app okay we'll check that so we have to check it up here and then we will check if you have the app here so we have here the my app all right so this is how we tell the react uh, the node.js to create a react app the folder when we go to this uh, folders change directory series stands for what change directory okay when we go to this folder change the sorry i'm sorry <laughs> change directory that's the meaning of cd Okay, if we uh, change our directory, type cd, and then you go to, well, of course, what, what is that? This is the my app. So, my app. Oh, let's change that. So, we have to clear the clear screen and let us display the directory. 
As, as you can see, we have already the um, node modules and of course package.json. If you check the uh, package.json, what will happen? This is already a uh, part of the installation, how you create your um, folder for your React uh, components, okay, JSON. So you have the package.json here for the app, my app uh, application. As you can see, we have the name of the app, the version is 1.0.10, .0 and same time we have here the pairing statements for that, and you are not allowed to touch this thing, this is already what is part of the installation, okay? So this is your JSON, JSON stands for uh, Object Subject Notation, JavaScript Subject, uh, JavaScript uh, uh, Object uh, Notation, that's JSON, okay? JavaScript Object Notation. Now, let us, uh, you know, create or react a program. You can use your own uh, Sublime Editor or any editor, you can use your Visual Studio, well, of course, any editor will do to create your first uh, program. But again, let us first uh, navigate this directory. We have here, of course, the SRC. SRC stands for the source file. And we have, of course, the default program right here. Okay, let us check that. Notepad. And then when you run this program automatically, okay, if you watch my previous uh, tutorial, automatically this will create, you know, this will display <coughs> the React applications, of course. And then we have here the logo. So what is this, this logo? This open and close parenthesis, this is, you know, statements we're in. It represents, of course, the name or the variable, something like that. Okay, now we again uh, close this and then we check that. Okay, again, that is the app.js. Now, every time that we create, create a program for application, we need to change this app.js. Uh, we need to change our program to app.js. That's the point in our main program. Okay, so this is now the content of your index.js. <laughs> So this is quite important. So we have the app.js and this point .js. The rest, you don't need to do to touch it. Okay, if you have some pictures before, we can put pictures right here. And uh, okay, let us check that. So we have here, of course, the program for your uh, for your index point .js. Well, as you can see, we, we have here the following um, libraries for that. We have the React, react.com.client, and then you can see that, of course, there is, you know, a report uh, web vitals. This is the default name of your applications and the uh, point does it refers to the current folder in the current uh, path of your data it should be put in the current path of your data to run that program same thing uh, to our uh, target today to create our own program and first we put that here instead of report with the vitals to put gs we again create our own and replace uh, this name later on using the index.js and replace the name of up of, of or the main program to up point cs okay so let's start our program and then if you want to start a program you can use your notepad or maybe you can use your uh favorite uh, what you call this uh text editor okay now i'll be using my program here okay and at the same time that is a sublime text editor okay so let us use this uh, javascript program Okay, and uh, we need to use the syntax. So the syntax is JavaScript because JavaScript tells everything about uh, all types of framework. It is covered uh, different frameworks and libraries. Like for example, you can work for AngularJS, ReactJS, Node.js, EmberJS, ExpressJS. You can work it right here. So from here, we create a program for the ReactJS and it's quite simple. We will not really what you call explain everything, but we will explain the next topic. So that you can roll your applications and run that. Okay, so that's our purpose. So we start first with the import, and then what's next is of course we act. That's capital letter. This is a bit easy, and from and from there we have to use what we act. Okay, that's it. So we have to push the semicolon, and then uh, if you uh, don't know how to uh, start with your React JS, you can go to my uh, JavaScript tutorial because that's the catalyst to start with the different different types of. Uh, Frameworks and level if two start with your Node.js and the other um, scripts, okay? Scripts for JavaScript. Okay, what's next? Well, we have to use create a class to serve work. Okay, class. What does this mean? So they have to create a class. This is the blueprint of the entire program. We're in, well, of course, we name our program. So we have here uh, my app. Okay, so this is the my app. All right. So the purpose of this my app right now, this will be a convertible to, okay, one my app one so that uh, we, we, this will be unique, okay? And then we extend this, of course, to the, the purpose of the extension is just like you're creating a program in JavaScript, in Java, but this one, this is uh, Node.js. So React, and then we have to use what the component, okay. In our next tutorial, we will discuss what is the purpose of this component, just like a function. And then after that, we have the open and close parentheses, and then we use the render.
So the purpose of the render is just like, of course, you are there to uh, call, of course, there's two comment object models of your uh, JavaScript, JavaScript panel. You will of course call your HTML program. The elements and of course the attributes. So we have here the return. So what's the purpose of the return here? So we mean to say we need really to uh, call those, I'm um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, call those values, all right. And uh, of course after that, what will happen? So we have to uh, engage with our uh, HTML program. For example, we have here the div. Okay. Don't forget be confused about this opening close parenthesis. This is like you're creating a callback function, callback statements for creating, you know, group of statements inside for your program. So we have here the div, and at the same time we'll put here the same. Okay, we have here the div here. So the purpose of this is to create the divisions for our um, uh, HTML data. And then let's say now if you want to print something, we'll of course we can say it's two, and then we have here hello world all right so you have you can put post the html and let right there okay what's next so we have here of course the div and we have here the hello world at the same time of course let us uh, check first if this is correct or not i mean we have to we can even consider the form statement right here and of course you can put of course this last form at the bottom so let us create you know a statement that will uh, you know um, will uh, provide some spice to our program. It's just not that, that we only created, we create the hello world sample here, but we add also the other elements of uh, your data. So we hit here, page two, and then let's say, uh, enter your name. So we have here the name, okay. I suppose that you can still recall your um, hypertext markup language, and this is quite important. Before you become a web developer, you should understand that, of course, um, HTML is part of your UI and uh, UI and UX, that's part of user uh, uh, interface and uh, user experience. So input type, pause to, so of course, we will use the text. And then what happened is, of course, we can put, of course, the ID here, ID equals to, let's say, uh, well, we can create any variable here, N1, okay. So there's a purpose of ID. And then the variable is name, variable is, let's say, uh, name one. Okay, so this is how you create a variable for that, for that, and then you put here what required. Oops, wrong spelling. All right, so that's it. So we have here the first program, and uh, what's next is uh, we need to use. Uh, we need now to uh, create a pair for this thing. What's the pair for that? So we have to use what slash d. Okay, so we have of course the first statements of our uh, first program for our node uh, for our GS rather. So we will bring this down, and then after that, we will put, of course, the semicolon at the top, okay? So in our next tutorial, we'll have to discuss what's the purpose of this. At the same time, this programming is uh, based on, uh, no, no, this program, programming style is to install first your React.js in your uh, computer. The other style is to use the CDN of the content uh, delivery per pro program, okay? So we have here, of course, that after that, will happen. So this will render the program at the top. At the same time, we have here the divisions to print the hello world. And then we have the form, enter your name, and then put type something like that. So we have to go right here at the next part. Okay. So the next part is, uh, let's wait, let's check. Okay. The next part is, uh, enter. The next part is, of course, we need to use the export statement. Okay. In programming, in, uh, in online programming, we need to, uh, if you notice that uh, in previous tutorial, we have there the, the uh, script equals to Babel, uh, script equals to text that just the slash Babel. In this case, we are not using those because, of course, we have already installed the React component in our folder. So we have to use the default. And then let's say the name of the program is my app. So we need to copy this thing at the top. Okay, copy, control C. All right. And then we put it right here. Okay, and that's is what? Okay, control. V. Okay, that's it. So we, uh, we we need now to save our program. So as you can see, uh, uh, everything is in place right now. And of course, the color of the elements is now uh, in uniform. Okay. So we have here the class my app extends to react that component. Just the purpose of this is, well, this is where we create the program for React. And of course, uh, this is to uh, follow the, to increase the, 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 the functions, the components is the functions in React.js. So at the top, we have the import of React from React, and then we create a class right here. And from there, of course, we have the render statement. So the render statement will, of course, uh, execute this program and will return this 
um, just like a JSX stock. So we have here, of course, the HTML. And of course, the, what else? We'll have, of course, the, um, the, we have HTML, of course, now, and we have here the elements inside the program. Export default point up, and then we need to save this thing. So save us, okay, how to save this thing? So we're gonna save this inside the program. So where's that program? So we have to use what? The react right here, and then we uh, use the my app. Okay, this is the my app program, and then we're going to save this inside the search. So you type the, what's the name of our program? So you follow the name of program here. So the sport is my app one, okay? So my app, now let us follow, of course, the comment casing, to be sure, okay? My, okay, my app one. And then we save this program, oops, my app one, okay? And then we save this program, okay? That's it. Now, after that, what will happen? We check our CLI here, or CMD command, and then let us check if you have, of course, the My App program here. So, you have to do is, uh, you know, is to clear the screen first, okay, for final viewing, and then, uh, for viewing only. And then we have here uh, My App 1.js. Now, if you check this My App 1.js, well, of course, this is already a uh, program. And then, so at the top of the program, you'll do this to step one is to type, okay, is to use a notepad, notepad, and then you have the App.js. So this is the current program of your app.js. So we don't need this anymore. I mean, we need to, to evade this thing. So instead of uh, you know of uh, of using this, we can rename this app. Point. Uh, let's say just type rename. Rename. Okay. App. Point. Uh, js to app. App back or backup. Okay. Point. Js. Now that's it. Okay. Now we have already, already of course the file name there. The, we have the app backup.js. So let us check, of course, uh, what is inside in our um, index.js. I'm sorry. Okay, index.js. So this is the index.js. So this uh, index.js will be replaced by uh, our program. What's the name of our program? We need to modify that. So before we modify this, well, of course, we can back up. So how to back up this? We have to this to copy. Okay, index.js to what? Uh, index point of. Okay, just rename is to off. All right, that's already copied, and of course rename to off. Okay, and at the same time we need to what note? Sorry, notepad. I have a small. I just make make keyboard is new, and same time this is a bit small. It's still adjusting to type this. I make keyboard. Okay, index point yes. So we we need to uh we need to uh you know to uh, rename this to our uh. Our program that is my app 1.js so this will be will, will serve us my app .js. we will replace this so the purpose of this period is this is the current uh correct me if i'm wrong this is the current uh, drive and of course of course in the current path so wherever you put that of course it will find your data so this is my capital letter my app one so that's my app one and then we save it in again you only replace this okay import okay report vitals but we need to erase this thing okay oops control c so we need to replace this okay backspace what will happen is we need to follow the my app just first uh copy the name import my app from my app one so we need to uh this one is import and this point says is where we can follow where we can uh, uh check this okay i'm sorry okay alt file all right and then save Okay, there you have it. And then I will close this. So let us check our index point CSS. So notepad, oops, notepad, okay, index point CSS. So this is the default CSS, but you can also modify and post write it uh, using your own preferences and style. Okay, so this not, is not a problem. Now, how to start the program, okay? We need only to run the program here, and then you go back to change directory. See this stance, that, that stance, so you need to go back to the previous directory. So we are now in my app directory, okay? Let us clear the screen, all right? And then we need to, to uh, fuse nm start. So we will be using, of course, the port of, what, 3000 here. So be sure that you have already activated your sum, okay? So how to activate your sum? Well, of course, in our previous tutorial, we have the sum program, so you need to ch check your sum here. Okay, you need to type your sum. Okay, so we have the sum program here, and then you need to start the program in your sum. So you need to. Uh, this is already starting. You need to click, of course, these two part, these two areas Apache MySQL. We have the button right here. 
So my SAMP is already activated, activated. So if you want to check it out, well, of course, you can go and, of course, type the NPM start. When, once you press this thing automatically, of course, this will activate your port 3000 and open your app with GS. So let us check if our work is correct. At the same time, now this is now uh, activating the server. Local, local host 3000, let us check if our program is working. Okay, it's still reading. So we have compiled errors, okay? So we have here, country solve, point up, react my app search, okay? So we need to uh, check this out, index.js, okay? We receive this error because of uh, this uh, statement. I think we need to uh, check first our program at the bottom uh, in our CLI. Okay, let us press Control C here, and then let us terminate that. So every time that you have this, if you want to stop your, if you want to stop your um, server to run, using the port 3000, of course, you need to press the Control C or Control C. So let us check it again, and then go to change to SRC, the search program, and then we need to check first our, um, well, of course, the first thing that we need to check is the index point GS. This is the company's product program, so we need to uh, check this out. Uh, from here, we have here, of course, the import app from my app, so we don't have the app there, but my app right now, in currently in our SRC. You can see that we have only the app point CSS, and we uh, copy, of course, the we rename, of course, the app with GS. Well, of course, in app back with GS. This is to create a bigger file in case that we have problem or trouble in our new file. So we will, uh, again, what you call this, uh, modify this program. Okay, how to modify this program here. So we need to use what? Notepad. Uh, point. GS. No, no. Notepad. Point. Uh, index. Point. GS. Okay, so we need to, uh, you know, to... Uh, to comment this out, okay, because we have already uh, converted our my app one to my app one. No, no, we need uh, we, we have already created our my app one for program, so this will be converted to app program, okay. So import app from app, all right. So we need to uh, maybe we can use this thing, okay. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about of uh, thinking of using uh, two program right now. So app app, and then we have my app. Now we need to save this, okay. And then save the same folder. What is that folder? That is three app point my app src. Remember, my app is uh, the folder that we created using our NPS statements a while ago. And uh, now we need to uh, check, of course, all the program in GS that is point as this point GS. App point is GS. We don't need to touch this file. You see this file also. The main um, part of this file is the main index point GR, the main point GS, and my app point GS. So this is our report web vitals point GS. Well, of course, we will not use this anymore. This is the default part of that. And uh, the same thing with the setup with GS. So, again, I will copy, of course, to copy uh, the my, uh, copy my app one point GS to app with GS. Okay. Now we have the app with GS in the directory. Let us display that. So, this is the main file for to activate the problem. Same time in this point GS, we look for that folder or the current part of the app with GS. Same as your other file right here. Okay, we don't have any CSS right now. We have the default. Oh, yes, we have the CSS, but that's the default CSS. If you want to change this later on, of course, you can pick it up. And we don't have any image. For now, we need only to uh, print the hello world and then ask the username and ask the user to enter a name. Okay, so let us run the program again. Okay, let us check first the note that might up point GS. Point up. Up point GS. So this is the program now. Okay. The app which is we have the app which is right here, and of course the pro the, the program is to print what hello world. This is the same to your what? This is to the same to our uh, previous program. Okay, the previous program is uh, Notepad. My app one point is. So we just we just you know uh, morph this file uh, to app which is because the default. Uh, only program for RBFGS for now is the app with GS and possibly the object with GS. Now let us check it once again. If we can hit the bell, of course, we have need to use the NPM, then start. So once you are at, uh, once your SAP is activated, we'll of course we discussed that a while ago. Automatically this will uh, you know uh, powered by the port 3000. So when we run the program, this will go directly to this folder in my app and look for uh, app with GS, uh, GS and of course index with GS. Okay, so we have two back up here. We have the index point of and the up back point GS for the up with GS index point of for the index point GS. In case that we have you know bits in this program, 
we can you know, again revert this program to the original copy file so that we can you know, debug it. Okay, let us press the enter key. So this is now starting. And at the same, let us wait. Now, um, the default uh, browser uh, in my laptop is, of course, the Safari. So I have another error right here. Line 17 of so index.js. So what happened? Let us check it again. Okay, there are lots of error here. So we have to go right here and uh, let us check what will happen in the box. All right, I have to program here. So let us first, first control C right here. Yes. Okay. And then here, I will uh, go back to again to my program. This is part of debugging. No, pro it's not a problem. So we need to uh, check our uh, program here. Does this where is that? CD, SRC. And then um, notepad. Okay, uh, index point. Yes. So that is line number 17. Uh, okay, let us check that. Where's that line number 17? I don't know what happened. I mean, I'm just talking about my up uh, 17. Okay, so we have to uh, erase this thing up. Okay, and let us check our error right here. Okay, oh, this is not the error. Oh, no, no, this is working already. I mean, sorry. Okay, I will again. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I, I think it's the layout in my program. So I will uh, again go right here. No, 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 no. In here, this one. We'll go back to our, uh, to this MD program. Okay, I think this program is probably running. I mean, it seems that we have delayed that uh, response of the server. So I will uh, erase this thing. That's already uh, correct, okay? So uh, we go right here. Okay, CLS, let us run it again. Okay, one more time. So NPM, that is correct, okay? And then we have here um, my app. Be sure that you go to your my app program or to any folder that you wish to run your uh, new React.js program and type what npm start okay, let's start it again. Let's check if that's working. I mean, I, I need to check if that's working. I mean, okay. So this is it. So this is running. I mean, hello world, enter your name. So this is now the output and we have the, what, 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 what is this output? Remember, we check the source code. Okay, let us check the source code for that. Okay, I have here the source code. Let us check the source code. So the source code is right here. Okay. Oh, and where's that? So this is where we enter your name. Oh, this is where we print the lower. At the same time, enter your name. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, embed uh, the style sheets, of course, we can use the thing. I mean, we can use the style, or we can use the external uh, program for that. We can use the import statement, but we can use the style, style equals to, let's say, uh, we can put here post color. And then we can put here, of course, uh, let's say uh, blue. So instead of uh, um, using, uh, you know, normal uh, double uh, quotations in your HTML document, but of course, we can use the open and close problem. All right, so that's how you do it. So let's just check this and save this. I'm sorry. So you have here file, then save. And then let us run this again. Okay, I will run this again. Okay, Control C. Okay, wait. Control C. Okay, yes. And then we run again the program. And then say npm start. Okay, this is to run fresh program. And we will open again the default browser. The default browser is the Safari, so you can change that anytime using your Google Chrome or maybe. So that's it. So, uh, well, of course, I don't know what happened, but I was not able to change the hello world right here. Well, um, that's all for now. Um, well, of course, we can, of course, pick this index this time around. Okay. So, the first part of the program is very simple, and uh, we have our code right here. Here. All right. So, this is how we do it style. Then we have here, of course, style uh style type or type style style type i mean this is the, the, the code for that and maybe we have to uh you know check it out okay let us go complete this thing okay okay so we are seeing this error in a program and at the same time she ran a program nothing happens to our code because for one thing i think there's a problem with uh, one of the uh, files of this uh, of, of this uh of this program so we need to uh we need to debug this so uh, we have here of course the color colon this is correct this is correct i mean this is correct so i don't understand what happened but okay let us fix this problem first 
Okay, let's just go right here in our folder. Okay. All right, let us clear this up. And then, okay. Press the enter key. You press on the, you, uh, you press the control C or Z, then we need to check this down. I think one of the problem is, of course, now we need to check it first right here, and then I will type type, and then type, and then we have here the index point GS. And just, it, our problem is running smoothly, but again, it's a problem. And then, uh, as you can see, we have here uh, the app. This is not identified, so we need to say we need to rectify this thing. Okay, so notepad, and then we have here the index point GS. Remember, this is the most important part of the file. This is how it communicates to your main program, to your app program, and of course, uh, communicates to your um, to uh, to your uh, to your to your cascading style sheets and of course to your frameworks and other things or library rather so we need to change change, change this i think we need to change this to uh, the main program is my app so we need to type my app let us check now then and there's plus no 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 what what was that again <laughs> i forgot oops control c control z i mean i need to press the control c i forgot what what was the uh, okay, we'll type right here. So we need to type uh, uh, my app. My app one. Okay. Let us use the thing and then we have to uh, save this thing again. Save. Okay. Because this is our main program. This is only converted to app program. Okay. All right. Let us check here and then let us check. Type the npm start. Let us check what will happen. If we, if uh, the color will change again, of course, that's uh, the, the catalyst to uh, where we solve the problem. Oh, right, let us check it here. And of course, they have a problem again. Problem is, okay, my okay. I think uh, the, 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 the syntax is wrong. Okay, so I will go again right here. Control C. No worries because uh, this part of our process how to uh, to debug the code. Okay, I need to check only the. Uh, I, I need to check, of course, the mirror code. Okay, type. That's the that's the the the, the purpose of this. No? I mean, we have the mirror file here. Remember, we have the mirror file of the index point of. Okay. So it's very important that you need to follow this procedure. Okay, so we have here, that's correct. So we have to put the slash at the back of the main program. So, okay, so we have to move notepad, and then check the index point, GS, and then we're gonna put it right here. I'm sorry, no, uh, of course, we're just human being and forget to uh, smooth things around. So we need to save this again, file, okay, save. Okay, let us run the program again here, CLS. And then npm start to run our server. So again, I think this is correct. All right. Okay, let us be there. You have it. So the color is hello world. Okay, and this is the code for that. I mean, we uh, again um, use the code here, right here. Let us check it here. So this is how you put, of course, the inline statement for your uh, program for the note for the React to uh, you know to create ornamental part of the program. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, well, of course, you can drop questions, of course, um, in the uh, comment sections. And if you, have, if you like the channel, please share and subscribe. Thank you so much and more power.